Ken, hello. And the weather turned good. I've got the door open and a breeze coming through here. And it's a good time to, gr to grind some carbide because you know you don't want to breathe this stuff. And uh, otherwise I'd have to have a respirator on. So I'm going to sharpen these boring boards here. And uh, I wanted to point something out. I just spotted this board bar here that I made some time ago. And let's see if I got a little pointer here. I was, uh, I remember I was uh, boring some really tough material. Uh, it was some high nickel uh, material. And uh, I gave this boring board just a little too much uh, uh, side, uh, uh, side rake anyway. So what I did, I found that it wasn't working very good. And I don't know if you can see this edge right here. I reduced that angle. I just came over here, uh, already had the, the uh, cutter grinder set up. I always have it set up for boring bars when I'm using uh, the jig boring machine. Because you have to do things like this to uh, make things work, you know. And um, So that's what I had to do. I thought I'd show that to you, that you can do that. You know, you can just uh, uh, reduce the angle uh, very easily just by uh, j just doing a little uh, short grind on it, and that worked. And uh, this got stuck in a drawer and hasn't been used for a long time. I just came across it, so I'm going to sharpen it. Let's sharpen it up. Okay, I put it in this V block here, and uh, I want to find the. Uh, the angle that I had, that looks pretty good. I'm not uh, real picky about how it's set up uh, on a tilt, but I'm going to get it pretty close to where it would be. Okay. Now I'm going to rotate it over a little. Get this. Uh, Orientated, just loosen up a tiny bit, get it over that way. Now we get a square on here. Move that back. That's some real old time traditional tools I use here. So I'm going to see just where that edge is. Oh, that looks real good. And it's right about at 10 degrees clearance, which is pretty good. Um, a lot of the boring bars come like 14 degrees, and it kind of weakens the tool, so uh, I back that off a little. But I'm generally feeding in uh, not very much, you know. So, okay, what I kind of like to do, you see where it's going to be. Give me a little height gauge there. I'll roll this back, and I'll get over here and raise the wheel. Wheel head. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to rotate it like this. I'll have to feed this out. This old time cutter grinder's got the controls only in the back. Wait, that looks pretty good right there. I can do a lot of this by eye. <laughs> Okay. Get her tight. Okay. Now, I always like to check things in case I, I forget. Because if it's loose, the, the machine will remind you. Okay. Click her on. Looking good. Get over here. I'll feed it about uh, 5,000. And, uh, that should uh, take the dullness off of it. Oh, yes, right there. Yeah. 
just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay. that scribe of media play, probably right in front of me there. It's not. Hmm. How did I do that? Too many little places to hide stuff. I almost killed the video because of that. So I just ground that back five thousandths and it's just razor sharp now. Now I'm going to do a very small radius on it by hand, but uh, the machine grinding on it is done and it's nice and very sharp. Now this is uh, one of those circular types here that I do. Uh, more um, company um, made uh, tools like this to fit into their, uh, into their heads. So this one's a little bit dull. So I get that in there. Okay. I'm gonna put that so I don't lose it. Maybe if I put it back <laughs> when I lost it the first time, I can I can do okay. Okay, I'm gonna loosen this. Okay, let's see where this one's at. As far as angle, that one I'm gonna it has a little less angle, but I'm gonna find it at the same angle. So I'm gonna move it there, get it over here, and see if I can get into it without. Uh, now see, this is a tough one. I have to grind it within this. Uh, little spot right there and I'm going to drop the wheel a little bit okay right there looks good so looks like I'm good
this type of cutter and you've seen how I ground that and it just took a few minutes so uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep grinding and if I find something interesting I'll start another video on it. or maybe I'll just start another video and finish this up okay thanks for looking